Welcome back to the slow and immersive Skarsnik campaign. And yes, this has turned into a really interesting, fascinating campaign. Thematically, of course, this is a campaign where we are seeing just how much we can accomplish in terms of building our empire using only goblin units. And uh, we've built quite an empire, but we now have our work cut out for us. So just a very quick recap of the last few episodes. We have uh, almost completely wiped out Belagar. We were not quite able to completely wipe him out. And uh, we got to the point where we were getting close, but then Wissenland declared war on us. And Wissenland is, I believe, like the second strongest faction in the game right now. If I can, uh, where's the Empire, Michael? Where's the Empire? Empire, em there's there's the Empire. Okay, they're third now. And of course, they're allied with Reichland, who is the fourth. So, not exactly sure who's one and two right now. I guess, we yeah, we haven't met one and two. Anyway, so, yeah, the third and fourth strongest factions in the game are allied with one another. Wissenland is the only one that we're at war with right now. But I'm sure that Reichland will join them in time. Reichland has been attacking us with things like steam no. tanks. And we, what we have found out is, uh, no. yeah, there's really no way for goblins to do enough damage to steam tanks to take them out. So as long as we're restricting ourselves to goblin units, we're going to really struggle in that respect. Now, uh, we, we've lost a couple of battles up here. This was really our experiment to see whether or not goblins could could do damage to steam tanks, and we lost an awful lot of goblins there in the process of finding out that, uh, no, really, we, we really can't. We can't do damage to them. That army is is going to have to back up and recover. It's obviously not going to be able to take Karakadrin here, but, yeah, it's just this army almost completely got wiped out from trying to defeat them. So... That's uh, lesson number one that we learned. We are, however, able to defeat even fairly strong Dwarven units with just goblins as long as we have overwhelming numbers. So that's, that's promising. We also have uh, the advantage of some garrisons. We are using a mod that makes our garrison stronger, so that's helpful. And then uh, we also over here have the Skaven that we've been fighting. And we learned, again, sort of the hard way, the, uh, the School of Hard Knocks, we learned that these doom wheels just rip our crappy little units to shreds. So, very much uh, not exactly sure how we're going to take on Tretch over here, but for the very least we have contained him because we do have the garrisons combined with these armies helping to defend these settlements. I'm kind of hoping he will... Well, actually, I don't really want him to attack the high place because I think he can win. Even though we would have uh, 20... We'd have 39 units against his 20. I think he would win that battle. So it is what... Oh, no, we don't even have 20 units yet. We have 16 units, some of them 
very badly uh, wounded. Yeah, and we're trying to recruit in a couple spiders. But yeah, I would not be at all surprised if he attacks us here and wipes this out. Well, we're going to let him do it because if he does, he I think he'll at least take enough damage that we can do to Tretch what we were able to do up here, which is just whittle their numbers down over time over the course of a few battles so that's more or less the uh, the strategic situation we're also at war with the uh the wood elves over here they're going to uh i don't think they're going to attack us here we got an army plus the, the garrison at karakurn is too strong i think we're safe right there we've got an army right here but yeah the uh, wood elves right here are are going to be a big problem we've also got an invading army of whistle land down here threatening Achendorf. so yeah it's going to be a little bit more defense i'm afraid for the time being we're trying to take black crag i'm trying to run this army down here to help uh to help attack it and this is also the army where i would like to start converting from goblins over into spiders so um you know the spider the goblin the spider goblin rider units is i think what we want to do maybe also some arachnorok spiders those are being rid by goblins as well so they are allowed as well anyway enough talking michael let's go ahead and get into the action here so i think what we're going to do i think we're actually ready to end our turn if i'm not mistaken and uh, kind of assuming that they're going to attack up here but i've been assuming that for the last few turns and thus far they haven't done it but we can't sally out and attack them and, and win that battle. They're too strong between those two armies together. We also have Skarsnik here who is threatening. Skarsnik should be in pretty good shape to defend Zufbar if they make a move towards it. And of course, Oakenhammer, we have no way to defend Oakenhammer, so it's all theirs if they want to take it. So really quickly here, I'm going to go through and make sure that all my uh, armies and hero agents have moved. Right here, we're in, in big time trouble. We need to figure out a way to... Either we need to wipe out this army entirely, which I don't think we really need to do. They can't reach us to uh, to attack us next turn. So I'm still kind of hoping that this army, Vasily here, will move back towards Waldenhof. And then we'll be able to jump over and get back into Karakadra and start recruiting again. So that's, that's sort of my hope. I already said he's moving down towards Black Crag. Skarsnik has already moved. Okay, he, this guy we already found out is not strong enough to lay siege to Black, Black Crag on his own. They will sally out and they would win that fight. We do have him. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and get... I could get him a level, I guess, just by scouting out uh, Vallea Sorrow. I don't want to do this over and over again because that's sort of uh, cheesing, getting free experience. But I do think... It is uh, immersive enough to uh, to do it every once in a while to make sure just to verify, you know, it makes sense to have a scout keeping an eye on a settlement to make sure that it is indeed occupied by the enemy. Okay, and I guess, wow, are we already, no, we're not through with everybody. We have you. You took a lot of damage. You definitely need replenishment, but you plus the Achendorf garrison... I don't know. It'd be very interesting if they to see what happens if they decide to attack us again here. They very well might. We could afford a regiment of renown. Um, we'd have to con like merge a couple of units, which wouldn't be that big of a deal. We could certainly do that. But I kind of feel like I kind of feel like I want them to attack because we could win that fight. Yeah, we could win that fight. Okay. Then we have you. You have already moved. You have already moved. You have not moved, but you need to stay where you are and do replenishment. And there's not really much we can do down here to protect these settlements. If he do wants to attack us, we probably won't lizard. be able to stop him. Okay, anything else then? I think that's all of my... Yeah, that's, that's all my characters and heroes. Now my settlements... I should say armies and heroes. That's what I meant to say. Okay, so here we've got the garrison. What do we, we might as well do this, right? I don't really see a reason why not. Karak Kadrin, do I want to level you up? You are... 
Got a very strong garrison. 9,000. We could afford it. Let's do it. If we need the money next turn, we can uh, cancel it. Oakenhammer, there's no reason to try to repair those because they're probably going to destroy or occupy Oakenhammer next turn. Or I should say over this end turn. Okay, I think we're, think we're all right from a uh, settlement perspective here. Let's go ahead. Oh, wait a minute. There was a hero not moved. Okay, what hero didn't did it move? Gonna have to do this again. You, you're the hero that didn't move. Okay, let's. Uh, block army for thirty three percent. Are you? You're not um, exhausted. Block army for sixty two percent. It's free. Let's try it. Okay. We'll do that. Never know when that might pay off. And then assassinate is uh, what I want to focus on. Let's go ahead and now... Low funds. Yeah, I mean... Oh, I guess it's because the only, the only reason we're in the positive is because we're raiding. That's why. Let's take a look at who's... Who's raiding? Is there any chance that we're going to lose our raid, our raiding income? We know. I know we have one down there at Black Crag. Do we have any others? Well, we must. We must have one more somewhere. Who else is raiding? This is kind of strange. I can't think of who. Alright, so... Yeah. Uh, we're not doing any raiding other than that one army. That almost makes me very concerned here. Are we getting plus 100% raiding income? Is that something that's going on because of our of our wa maybe I don't I don't know but I'm kind of actually now thinking about canceling this because of that warning where are we at right here I'm gonna cancel this for now okay and check our diplomacy out we're still strength rank seven for only using goblin units we're still in pretty good shape. But we're not as dominant as we were earlier on. Well, our WAs are much less effective now than they were at the beginning of the game. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's go ahead and end our turn and see, see what happens here. I want to start paying attention to the sequence of our enemies as well. So you got Kislev, who's not an enemy yet, but they will be. They go very early. I feel like it's only a matter of time before Kislev joins the fun attacking us. And obviously they have plenty of armies, although they're overall not really all that strong. So then we have Scrag, who's not currently an enemy, but he used to be. And I think he is still an enemy of Wurzag, who is an ally of ours. So that's a little bit of a concern, although Scrag is not very strong right now. Wurzag, meanwhile, has been pretty worthless, just running around doing nothing but dancing with the Beastmen in the Warhammer Spain area. Okay, so who's next? Is it Belagar or is it Wissenland? Or is it the Wood Elves? Or is it Tretch? It's probably going to be Tretch. Yes, indeed, it's going to be Tretch. And I didn't see what Tretch did. Okay, there's Aranessa. Can't remember if she's at war with Warzag or not. Reichland, and here's Whistleland. So this is this is an important one right here for sure. Yep, are they 
Are they going to attack or are they just laying siege? Okay, yeah, we're just going to auto-resolve. This is one of the very few situations where I actually will do an auto-resolve. Nothing we can do to protect Oakenhammer. So it looks like she's not going to attack Aachen, Aachendorf just yet. That's kind of disappointing, quite frankly. Okay, so, yeah, what are those steam tanks going to do? They are... They didn't move as far as I expected them to, which is going to make it a little bit difficult for us to get by them. And then here's the attack on Matorka. Okay, so this is going to be... This is a minor settlement battle. Obviously, we're going to go ahead and fight it, but don't really see any way to win. But the interesting thing here is they have so many flying units and artillery... The flying units cannot capture the city. If we somehow could do enough damage to their melee infantry, they got so many thunder barges. Oh, they're just going to wreck us with those thunder barges. All right, well, anyway, we're going to fight it. The thunder barges may not be able to capture the city, but they certainly are going to be able to do a ton of damage to us, so... Yeah, this is this is crazy how Belagar um, is able to sustain such incredibly strong armies and many of them, despite the fact that we have knocked him down to three settlements. At one point, he had three settlements; two of them were minor, and uh, and six armies, and like good armies. Okay, so. We got them pretty well divided up, it looks like. That's that's kind of the worst case scenario for us here. Okay, let's see. Do we have any... Any hope of just defending here in the middle? Maybe. First of all, do we have any towers here in the middle? We have one single tower... Okay, I feel like this is not going to go very well here. That one tower is where? I don't even see it. Is it right here? Right. Nope, nope, nope. Why? What, am I blind? Why am I not seeing the tower? There it is right there. Okay, it was on the other side of this building right there. Okay, so if we build this... So I've been told... To give uh, the um, the more explosive, these are catapult projectiles, to give them more of a chance. But I feel like, because in the in the past I've I've shied away from from doing these upper tier towers because I found their accuracy is so poor it's not worth the extra money, and instead I like the uh, the AP damage. I feel like. Catapults firing at, at uh, thunder barges would not be as effective as arrow towers firing at them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that anyway. We have so many barricades here. We're not going to be able to build them all. Um, I think we'll just focus on defending here in the middle. We will, however, try to get you close enough to benefit from that barricade. Maybe we can get that one built. Okay, and then the same right there for you. Okay, then we have... I don't think there's any point in trying to defend any of the other control points, but what we might be able to do... If I put you guys on five, maybe I can distract some of them long enough to buy us a little bit of time. So we're going to try that. You three here in the middle. Let's get you here. Let's get you guys here. I'm going to put you right in the middle, actually, and you guys here in the middle, okay? 
and then you two as well. All right, there's probably no reason for me to be spending even this much time because it's highly unlikely that we're going to actually do enough damage to, uh, to any of their units. I tell you what, I'm actually going to put you guys in the middle because maybe the Thunder Barge will be uh, flying, the Thunder Barges will be flying in here. Okay, um, and so of these guys, I think we want to protect ourselves from missile damage, which of course is the most expensive of any of them. Let's go ahead and start the battle. Let's speed up for a minute. Let's see if we have any chance at all of getting... Oops, you, I forgot about you. Both of you. Get, get into the middle here, guys. Okay. Okay, so if I send you guys over this way, can you distract them long enough to buy us enough time to build these barricades? Maybe. It's worth a try. Okay, that one's going. Yeah, you guys, come on. Already shoot, shooting at us, but it did it did cause some of them to turn around. Okay, and then meanwhile over here. Okay, so all of you guys, I want you all shooting at these gyro bombers. You guys need to be moving around. To try not to be such an easy target. I get this built. Now it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Okay, it looks like our arrow towers, or our, yeah, our tower over there is on the other side. The wrong side to be able to, to fire at these gyro bombers. The, uh, okay, you guys can try to, actually, you know what? To try to take out those organ guns. Okay. 
Are, are you having any luck at all against those gyro bombers? There we go. Now the tower's actually shooting at it, it looks like. Yeah, we might be able to do a little bit of damage there. Okay, now I, I wasn't fast enough building this, unfortunately. However, we did get that one built, so that's good. There we go. We got our... Uh, we got those gyro bombers broken, at least. Yeah, you guys need to get here in the middle. You guys stay there. The two of you here. Actually, you know what? You can get here. Oh, we did get it built. Very nice. Okay. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get all, all you guys now firing at those iron breakers there. Okay, right here. You guys get ready to attack him. You guys can move move up a little bit. How are we doing here? A little bit of damage, not very much. Okay, did we do anything to those organ guns? We haven't even reached them yet. Wow, holy cow. Okay, come on guys, do... I know you're almost broken, but you should be able to wreck those or organ guns now that you've closed within melee. Over here, let's get you guys... Helping out here on him, maybe. Get over here. Yeah. We gotta wait for him to to get closer. Oh, hello. Okay, let's get one of you guys shooting at him. And how are we doing here? Not not super great. Let's get you shooting at him as well. Okay, right here. You guys get on him. Now you can help out as well, and you as well. Why not? But I don't want you to chase him. That's the thing. I don't want you to chase him. So you're you're in guard mode. Did we take out the organ guns? They're broken, but we didn't. We did not destroy them. Unfortunately, I'd like to destroy them completely. Okay, how are we doing here? Very very slowly doing a little bit of damage over there. How about here? Is there any chances all at all we're doing damage to this guy? You know what? Let's get uh, let's get you in here helping out. And let's get you over here helping out as well. Looks like they're very slow over here. Let's go ahead and actually, you know, I just realized, let's build the uh, the barricades that actually block the path because why not? I don't think we're going to get that one done in time. How are we doing here? Not... Not... Great, but not awful. Okay, did we tell... Oh, 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 over here. Where's my... Uh, where's the uh, other arrow voice? What happened to the uh, gyrocopters over here? The gyro bombers, I guess they were. Alright, let's get one of you now over here. And one of you as well. You can shoot at those long beards with great weapons. Okay, they're firing at us from over there. That's not great. We are very slowly doing damage right here to him. A little unimpressed with how quickly our big wah is meter is filling up, that's for sure. Okay, but we're doing No, I take it back. I was gonna say we're doing some damage to these iron breakers, but we're really not. Okay. You go ahead and... You know what I need to do? I need you... To become more of a target over here. You guys need to be more of a target. I don't want them shooting at our... Infantry units right there. Okay, the... Alright, so we lost our, uh, our cavalry. I didn't pay attention. Hopefully they managed to wipe out the... Uh, the organ guns. Okay, we are in bad shape right here, that is for sure. Let's go ahead and get you now over here helping out as well. Okay. You can get right there then. And you guys can get over here now. Okay, meanwhile, you two 
Are they firing at you? It's a little hard to tell. Right here, are you guys fi You should be firing at, at those long beards. Oh, they got through the barricade. Okay, not sure how that happened, but whatever. Okay, you guys did not successfully distract the flame cannons. That's a bit unfortunate. Okay, now we can wall. Wow, there we go. That'll help a tiny little bit. Okay. I think this is going to um, probably pretty much do it here. Let's go and get you guys shooting into the flank as much as possible. You guys, where do we want to send you? I think we'll send you over there. How are we doing here? Very, not very poorly. Well, we've done, we've done the best we could. We put up a good fight. They didn't take everything immediately, but unfortunately, pretty clearly, pretty clearly, uh, our units are inferior to theirs, and we make up for that by having less of them. So, yeah, this is... Not, this was, was destined, obviously, to fail, but... Kind of maybe wanted to do a little bit more damage than what we've done here. Oh, the, now the thunder barges have arrived. Okay, everybody, fire at the at this thunder barge if you can. Let's get you back into the middle. I'm afraid that you're going to break, and that it's going to break all of our other units as well. We've done pretty good damage to. Uh, To the enemy lord, though. I mean, that's something, I suppose. Okay, how are we doing? We've done some decent damage to that Thunder Barge. You know, we're not going to kill it, obviously, but we've done some damage to it. Okay, now he's taking too much damage. This is obviously going to be a big... A big problem here. He's about to break. You know what? Let's get him back over here. Maybe he can charge in and have a heroic death fighting against uh, the enemy lord. We're not going to get another chance to do our wah, unfortunately. I would have liked to have done a little bit more damage to him right here. But that's... That's a little bitty bit of a disappointment. But, oh, man, look at how much damage we did to him right there. Get back in there. The longer we can hold out, the better chance we have of actually taking out that enemy Thunder Barge. I don't think it's going to happen. Never mind, they're about to take our control point. There's nothing we can do about it. We're not really doing any damage to him. I don't know how we did any damage at all because he's completely static right now. He's 2155. We're clearly not even getting any attacks on him at this point. Ah, there we go. We did a tiny little bit. But there we go. We can wah. That's our last hurrah right there. That Thunder Barge. Oh, man. We are so close. Did we take it out? We did. We destroyed a Thunder Barge. I will consider that a win. Yes, I will. I will consider that a win. Okay, there we go. Yep, all right. Well, not the greatest, but not the worst. So let's see if these organ guns got wiped out. It looks like they may have, and we took out a Thunder Barge and the Gyro Bombers. We did a lot of damage to the enemy Lord, but obviously not nearly enough. One of the other Thunder Barges took a lot of damage and one of the Longbeards with great weapons. Can we get three units dead? Yes, three units dead. I'll, I'll take that. That's obviously better than we would have done if we had just auto-resolved. And the loss of a Thunder Barge is not insignificant. He occupied it, which suits me fine. I think he just recruited another Lord already. 
or maybe he split off a uh, a hero. Uh, no, there wasn't a hero in that army. Never mind. Okay, so Warzag is forcing the Beastmen to retreat. That's good. He's, he's wasted so much time sailing around in the water to and from um, Estalia for no good reason. I mean, he took one settlement in Estalia and then has spent almost the entire um, entire strength of his military and all of his time trying to defend this one single minor settlement that he took. I think it's a minor settlement. Even if it's a major settlement, it doesn't matter. It's strategically useless for a campaign of uh, located in the part of the world that we're in. Here come the Wood Elves. That Wood Elf army right there is not capable of attacking Kara Kern. Not, okay, not sure. I guess they went into ambush stance there. Or did they just get out? Like maybe they just got out of range of what we could see. Okay, yeah, settlement lost. That's fine. So did he occupy it? Okay, that's fine. That suits me fine. Settlement lost. Settlement besieged. That one's a little bit more of a concern. And, uh... What? Is it, did I expect this? I cannot. I guess maybe I did expect it. Yeah, I guess I did. Okay. Alright, units recruited, buildings constructed, territorial disputes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We already know that we're we're in a we're in a little bit of a difficult position right now, but we'll uh, we'll figure something out. We're Scarsnick, we've got schemes. Okay, um you Skunk Guzzler. I think what we're gonna do with you I don't really see any reason. I'm going to give you Stalker. Okay. Um, if I have, I don't know if that works when he's inside an army or not. If you know the answer to that, please, please let me know. Okay. So then these guys right here have gotten bigger. That's Belagar. How did he get bigger? His army got bigger. I guess he was in the camp stance and did uh, and did global recruitment, maybe. Still not attacking Grand Peak, and I'm I'm waiting for them to because they'll suffer he heavy casualties when they do. But in the meantime, there's not really a whole heck of a lot I can do here. I could go into ambush stance. I wonder if there's any value in. Seeing if he comes back to take Zufbar. I'm only at 70%. No matter where I go, I'm only going to be at 70%. Well, I do need the... Um, I need the replenishment, so I need to stay in a safe region. Well, when I say I need the replenishment, I guess I don't really need it. I like a good plan. I, hear I do want to get that Arachnorok spider to Scarsnick be stronger. I tell you, okay, we're going to come back to Scarsnick a little bit later. Let's take a look at everything else that's going on here. Now, you, can you jump over the mountain? You cannot jump over the mountain. That is, that is frustrating. My goodness, is that frustrating. If I could have jumped you to even here, I wonder if I moved you to, if I move you here, would you be able to jump over? Let me see if I can get any better sense from any other armies how far we can jump. You cannot get back into Karakadrin, unfortunately. 
Okay, you are trapped. Not a whole lot we can do there. You. You're immortal. So that's good. What's your chance of assassinating this, this person? 41%. It's free. Wow, he's level 43. Oh my goodness. What's your chance of... Well, block army is pretty useless. So... Yeah, he recruited a new army here. Wow. No, I will not shame my clan. Okay, so yeah, so you, if I wanted to jump, I cannot jump over the mountain. Wow, okay, so this is where we really see the limits of what our, uh, our, our, um, campaign movement range reduction mod is. We can't even jump over these mountains in the underway stance. So that's a little bit of a concern. Um, so what am I going to do with you then? I could just raid, I guess. If I decided to raid here, we'd get some replenishment. 694, which is frankly not really a ton. It's probably not the best use of that army. We could continue to move towards this. And would they come? Would they sally out and attack us if we laid siege with this army against that garrison? Ready for bossing. And would this army? Yeah, that army. That army would absolutely destroy us if they if they attacked us because of all those dragons. They're not super strong. They are also at war with Belagar. So if they want to attack Belagar, that suits me fine. You know what I want to do? I want to make peace with the Wood Elves because I want to make peace with anybody, quite frankly. At this point, we have too many enemies, but yeah, they're not interested in peace. Okay. It's kind of silly that they declared war on us when they're already at war with Belagar, and so are we. Alright, so... Uh, I don't frankly know what to do with these with this army. If I get it back into our territory, he can at least replenish. I really wanted to be able to jump down here and help defend Karak Angazar. I'm special. Okay, Karak Hearn is probably now capable of defending itself. You cannot jump over the mountains either. You can jump over this side. Wow, that is really debilitating to not even be able to jump over these mountains. Okay. All right, we're going to stay in... We're going to stay in raiding stance here, and we're going to move to here and see if maybe we can jump across the mountains to that spot right there. Going. And at least we'll get replenishment, and we will uh, get a little bit of money out of that. Now you... I obviously don't want to attack Fort Saul, but I could threaten maybe Steingart here. Would that pull... Some of uh, Whistleland's army's back, I wonder. We have the Wall Army with us here as well. The Wall Army's in pretty good shape. It does not need replenishing. If I put you in March Dance, how risky is that? Let's let's take our... Uh, I really wish I had a, a Goblin Big Boss over here. I do have one right here, you. Okay, let's let's get you out of that army and over this way for now. Okay, so there's Belagar's army. Belagar's kind of trespassing right now in Wissenland's territory, and they're not allied. They don't have a, as far as we know, they don't have any 
um, military access agreements. Um, I'm trying to remember. Okay, so yes, that Wood Elf army. We saw it. We saw that Wood Elf army move away. We can't see it from here. What do you want? Yeah, we can't see it from here. But I don't think. I think it's too risky. Oh for us to go in march stance up in that direction so i'm going to go in i'm going to go in our regular stance here in this direction and uh threaten either file dwarf which yeah i guess i guess it's unlikely that we're going to be able to take file dwarf i think they would sally out and force us away but we could threaten Steingart. Yes, boss. And I'm going to go ahead and move you back this way. Okay. All right. So, yeah, very, very limited range with our... Oh, there's, a, there's Tretch. And he's going to probably attack the Pillars of Grungni. And again, there's not really a whole heck of a lot we can do about it. If I tried to jump... If I'm, actually, I can do this. I can move in in March stance and defend the Pillars of Grugni. And then you, if I put you now, right, right now, I don't want to move this army down here to help defend Mount Squighorn because this army needs these needs to finish recruiting those spiders. So we're going to leave you there. If they do decide if they do decide to attack Pillars of Grugni we're just going to have to let them. Okay. Well, they're not going to take Karaza Karak. Of that, I feel very certain. So you can stay here. And... You obviously are in no position to do anything. You can... You're at 19 out of 20. I could actually put you... I don't think there's any value right now keeping you outside the army, so I'm going to put you back in the army here. Okay, you at least can get some experience if there's a battle here. I think we are going to go ahead and go into ambush stance with you. And how far can he move? He can get far enough to attack us here. I don't think he would, though. Would that army of Belagars attack this army of Scarsticks? With that Wa army? He might. He might. And if we ambushed them, I don't really see that there would be any value to it. We're, we're not really any better off in am, an ambush stance with an ambush battle than we would be in a straight-up battle. I don't know. Actually, that's not true. We could probably take out... Yeah, no. If we if we somehow did manage to ambush him, we could get into his back line pretty quickly. So that might be worth it. Let's go ahead and... Let's tempt fate. Let's let's be in a position where he's probably going to pull us right immediately out of ambush stance. And then he's close enough that he could attack us if he wants to. But I don't think he is. I think he's going to stay right there and eventually participate in an attack on Grand Peak. Okay. Rachnik. So, back to you. It doesn't... It's not worth the risk of trying to move just to here to see if we can then jump over the mountain right here. So instead, we're going to continue to go full speed this way. It's going to take a while, but we'll get there eventually. We still have eight more turns left on our on our WA. I think this is our third or fourth great WA. Okay, you. Obviously, you... 
can really not. Well, actually, you know what? We have a. Uh, Nasty magic ready. We have a way out if we just go through Azhag's territory here. Okay. Plus, we uh, replenish in Azhag's territory, so we got that going for us. These guys are raiding. I really, really wish we could engage them in battle and, bring, and pull the garrison out. There's just really no way to do it. Okay, so I think at this point, you, there's nothing to do. Oh, my goodness. I didn't expect that. He actually retreated. Okay. Well, he's probably just going to turn around and lay siege again. What about this? Uh, not... Yeah, you. Can you block army? 71%. And if you do, actually, oh, you also have a 41% to assassinate there. Okay. If we blocked that army, they would still be able to reach. Dag nabbit. Okay. And then you're 20 out of 20, so there's no real value in putting that goblin big boss into this army. I'd really like for this garrison to have some more time to replenish. I just don't see any way that it's going to be possible. Unless I recruited another regiment of renown. Which I've been doing a lot in this game. This looks like the only one that is even... Oops. No. Oh, no. he's. I thought I saw one that was available. I guess not. I must be blind. Okay. Um... Well, we're just going to do the best we can with the troops we've got right there. And then you... We're going to try to do a block army, because why not? Yeah. Success, okay. I assume... Oh, no, they can't reach. Oh, that's good. Okay, I'm glad I tried that. Okay, very, very good. My uh, not, are not you. You, you did not gain a level, okay. So they actually cannot lay siege for one turn, which means that's time for us to, to replenish. I'll take it. Every little bit helps. You, like I said, we want to try to jump you over the mountain right here. I doubt if it'll be possible, but at least you're raiding. You've already moved. You have already moved. You are recruiting. You are staying where you are. You can't move. You are raiding. You are... You've already moved. And I think... Oh, okay. Okay. Ratgash, yeah, you. I want you to go ahead and do this. Is this Clan Moors or is this Clan... It is Clan Moors, okay. How strong is Clan Moors? Not very. Neither... Oh, look at how weak Rictus is. Oh, uh, if we take out that one army of Tretch, we're in pretty good shape against them. Okay. I'm surprised they don't want to make peace with us, to be honest with you. Okay, let's go ahead and give you damage walls, I suppose. And, um, yeah, Vallea Sorrow, we actually have a, an objective here to raid Vallea Sorrow. Not a high priority, but it's something that we'd like to do at some point. I do try to use these, these objectives down here sort of thematically as, you know, to try to accomplish them as much as possible. I'm just, you know, trusting that the game does provide rather thematic objectives. Okay. Um, I think then we're... I could move you, but... Now, for, for this turn, we're going to keep you right there. And then... Uh, and that's everybody. Okay, so let's... Let's go ahead and take a look at our settlements. Again, we've got this decision to make about Karakadren. I don't trust we're going to be able to hold it now, so I'm kind of glad I didn't bother to invest the money and time into upgrading it. Zufbar, you look like you may be able to hold out until the uh, walls building here is built. So, if so, that would be Vundaba. Karakadren, you're fine. Oh, excuse me, Kar Karaza Karak, you're fine. You're getting income from all buildings plus 5%. That seems like a perfectly fine commandment for you. 
Okay, right here. Right here. Growth and control. Yeah, that's fine, actually. That works for me. Okay, Achendorf. Yeah, we already know what's going on there. Karak Kern. Again, I feel like you're probably safe for the time being now. Mount Gunbad. Not really anything for you to do. You are getting the income boost. Ground Peak. Obviously, we can't do anything with you while you're under siege. Here we go. Okay. You. No reason not to go ahead and level that up. A little bit of extra money. We're doing fine, quite frankly, money-wise. In fact, we might want to even consider... Another another army at this point. We're making enough money that I feel like we could do that. If we wanted to recruit another army up here, we can uh, we can get pump wagons, doom diver catapults. Oh no, that's the garrison. Just we can't we can't recruit the. Yes, we can. We can recruit. Yeah, we can recruit our our pump wagons. Are they anti-large? There's nothing. No, they're all they're all anti-infantry, I think. So there's no value in using them against the steam tanks, unfortunately. We don't have anything good to use against steam tanks. That is a a bit of a problem. I don't have the spider building here, so we would be stuck again with the uh with just regular old gobos. Even so, there might still be value in that. Sigma forbids this. Is there any reason not to? I don't think there's a reason not to. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and recruit in a... Not allowed to, to recruit orcs, so... So none, none of these, including this legendary lord right there, I can't recruit him. Um, and I can't recruit back in Ratgash Backbiter, who uh, who we have already. Um, I could give your level 9 and your level 9. I, th I feel like the shame is ever so slightly better because he can at least use some magic to, to some effect against the steam tanks. So if we do this, aggressive is terrible. That's useless for a shaman. Guess we're going to take uh, Morglum Backbiter. Let's recruit you. And let's recruit into your arm. Well, first of all, let's go ahead and give you... Would I want to maybe reduce the winds of magic calls for sneaky stabbing? I think there, I feel like there's value in that. Okay, and then we also want to maybe do any of these. Income from raiding is probably the best bet. I do want to try to get him up towards uh, lightning strike. Okay, um, so let's do that and then go ahead and recruit in. I wonder if these Doom Divers, they're armor-piercing missiles, so we could use these against Steam Tanks. And then just an absolute ton of, of uh, crappy units in front of them to help protect them. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that for now, okay. I mean, pretty... Pretty much a rubbish army, but it's better than nothing, I suppose. And like I said, we can afford it. All right, now, check in diplomacy again. Nope, still nobody's really... In Look at this, overlords of Zarduk, they have no military strength at all, but yet they do not have any interest in making peace with us, even though we're the fifth strongest faction in the game. This is kind of where, well, 
there's a lot of different ways that the diplomacy in this game leaves a lot to be desired. Lamy and Sisterhood has one settlement, no military, and their strength rank 82 compared to our strength rank 5. No, they're not interested in peace either. They have four enemies. They're not interested in peace. Makes perfect sense to me. Okay. All right. It is what it is. Let's go ahead and do another intern here. Got a little bit more time. Let's see if there's any more battles over this end turn. The ice core is... Ooh, they were able to take a settlement. That's not good. Azhag must be really weak. Okay, Scrag is not attacking Warzag's settlement. Stone Mine Tower. But I do think they are still at war. I feel like this could have gone completely differently if Wurzag had actually fought in our part of the world. Together, we could have certainly taken care of Belagar before Wissenland got got involved. And now I'm trying to remember whether I have I given. Okay, he's not attacking. He's just raiding. Tretch is just raiding. Uh, I can't remember if I have given Wurzag a uh, a war coordination target or not. As we've learned in other campaigns, it's fairly pointless even if you do. They don't usually actually follow through on what you've asked them to do, but they might even have an army that I could borrow now that I think about it. That Airog Neck Snapper army right there? No, I don't think I can I don't think I can borrow an army that has a WA attached to it. Or I'm assuming I can't, because that would not sure how they would handle that. Okay, so yeah, Wissenland was not able to reach. That one did finally retreat. Clan Angrand. Oh, he attacked the Wood Elves. That's perfect. That's what we want to see. We want to see more of the Wood Elves fighting against the Dwarfs. No! Okay. And Jenkins' Cracktoof is close enough that he might be able to attack that army of Belagar. Possibly. And then Azhag, his army is in pretty bad shape here. I'm not exactly sure what he's intending to do. Alright, Wurzag. Just absolutely no idea what you're doing. I have no idea what you're doing, but more importantly, I think you have no idea what you're doing either. Okay, now after all that maneuvering and fighting against the Beastmen, you've decided to abandon Nuja anyway. Crazy. Going off the rails on a crazy train here. Okay, so we're not at war with Tolson, but I have a feeling we're about to be. That was a pretty aggressive move that they just made towards us right there. You guys, what are you going to do with your dragon army? That's, that's my biggest concern. Failure to assault my units, that's good. I'll take that. Durthu's all the way down there in uh, roughly the area of Galicia, Spain, where I used to live. Okay. 
Back to us. Ambush foiled. Yep, that's what I expected, but he didn't come after us anyway. Didn't take the bait, which is not surprising. Okay, Stranger Danger. Corruption, enemy hero, action success chance. Oh, definitely take that. Unhappy populace. Really don't care. Really don't care. Okay, raiding. Yeah, this is just Tretch. We've encountered the Court of Labaris. Okay, units recruited. Very good. We got our Ragnarok spiders. Now we're back to having some income issues. But it's all good. We're going to fight some battles here soon, hopefully. Okay, not you, Skarsnik. Let's get back to here. You can recruit another couple of uh, these guys. Because they're super cheap. You... Okay, if I jumped you down to here. Not possible. And they came out to attack you, would you be able to retreat in this direction? Is there any point in finding out? This army's really not doing any good right now, so I might as well actually. If I. If I switch you to this, you, you can... Okay. It would have to be in tunneling stance. We're going to try it. If he ends up wiping this army out... Oop. All right. Well, that answers that. Okay. Do we have any chance at all... I mean, we have no chance of winning the battle. Do we have any chance of actually defeating that army? I don't think so. I'm going to just allow this to be an auto-resolve. They lost eight models, eight, eight infantry there. Pro probably their halberdiers, their weakest unit. Okay. All right. Didn't really think that they were going to be able to intercept us that far away from their army, but it is what it is. I wish there was maybe, I guess it's just a matter of experience, um, but I wish there was a way to see just how far out an enemy army would be able to... Uh, I mean, we that's pretty good distance away from them. I'm really surprised that they were able to intercept us all the way up here. I really am. Oh well, it is what it is. Meanwhile, we're back in better shape from a money perspective, I guess. So, you know, there is always that. Okay, now you... What can you do? You can block army, you can assassinate. Let's assassinate. 66%. What about down here? 70%, 68%. Let's assassinate Maggot down here. Failure? Okay, alright. Well, you win some, you lose some. And... Where do we add here? I guess I'll give you Cleanse Corruption. because Wait a minute, actually, before I do that... I feel like one of these increases your campaign movement. Nope. Okay, it's just the campaign line of sight. We'll take that anyway. All right. Um, so you, Mr. Rackneck, Spider Claw. March stance still gives us the best, the best distance covered here. Okay. You. They are not close enough to for our garrison to come out. So now we're back at the same decision point that we had last time. Which is... Do we leave the army in here? I don't think so. I think we know that if they lay siege without bringing another, another army down, we can just push them back again. Um, and you can just keep blocking them. I don't really see a reason why not. Let's go ahead and... We've got given you all of the blue. I think we'll... I guess at this point we'll start giving you... Uh, just in case you're actually in a battle, we'll start giving you some combat skills. Okay. You now... 
can we jump? We still cannot jump over the mountains. That's not surprising. I was kind of hoping we might be able to jump to just that point right there. But no, no such luck. There's the dragons. Okay, we need to obviously try to run away from them. Yeah, they would they would destroy us if they if they called up to us. Okay, right here. Do we have any chance of attacking them? We might. Can we win that fight? I feel like we can win that fight. This will be the this will be the last the, the the last thing we'll have time to do this episode. So before I do this, let me just see. Is there anything else I can do now? Can you get this magic is real? You actually can. No, it won't let you move. It won't let you move there. Okay. You. Me. Okay. I cannot... I'll tell you what... Mm, this is bad, because the only way I can make sure that Tretch doesn't ambush us if, is if I put myself into raid and camp stance, but I don't want to raid my own province. So, what we will do instead is we're going to move you... We're going to move you into in this direction. I'll get there. And we'll start an offensive against Tretch. If he's not going to be brave enough to to attack us, well then we're going to put him on the defense. Now, uh, on the defensive, I guess I should say. Okay, right here, you're fine. I don't know yet what I'm going to do with you. You're recruiting. You've already moved. You've already moved. You are going to, I think, stay there. You have already moved. You have already moved. Okay, so we're back. Oh, no, there's this. Okay. Can you block that army? 71%. Success. Very good. Okay. That is good. That's, that's what we need. We need that dragon army to not be able to chase us. Let's go ahead and give you... This is interesting. I gave you a combination. Well, we're going to go ahead and give you maybe... Yeah, I think it's more important that I start giving you some more of these combat abilities. Okay, and so you've moved now we are back to this guy right here. I think they're going to retreat from us. But if they don't, we'll fight this battle and it'll be the last thing we'll have time for in this episode, I believe. Go ahead and try it. Yep, he retreated. So here's where we need the Goblin Big Boss to block his movement. So that we uh, we could catch up to him and run him down. What he's not replenishing while he's there. Obviously, we can't really That's right. chase far enough to go into raiding stance, which would be nice. We could start raiding Fildor if that would on our way to to Steingard. That that's what we'll plan to do with that army moving forward. Okay, I think at this point, then, we've probably done all we can do with our armies. No, I'm sorry. We still have Scarstick. I still have to decide what to do with Scarstick. You're a little bit more replenished. You could reach. You do have Lightning Strike. You start with it, don't you? Yeah, yep, you start with it. So we could attack Belagar. Okay, do we have time for this in this episode? And and if we do it, do we feel like we could win? That's really the big question. Could we win a battle against this army of Belagar? I 
Argos plans? Nine. It would be very interesting. We've got a lot more units than they do, but they clearly have superiority of units, and I don't know how we would do enough damage to those two right there. Meanwhile, this garrison is still going to be capable of holding out for a little while. The problem is, eventually they won't be able to. You, Goblin Big Boss. I wish I could do assault units. Although I probably wouldn't have much chance of success anyway. You... You can't ask this of me. I don't like I don't like the odds. I think it's certainly possible I could lose, but even if I won, I would suffer such irreparable damage. I, I like having Skarsnik as a strong fighting force. In fact I can't. Who needs killing? I wanna see if we can draw this army of Whistleland into doing something stupid. See you later. Before Belagar had recruited those extra units, I would have tried that attack. But now now I don't feel like I can. Alright, I think we're, we're we're done with our armies here. Time to go through our settlements. You are looking good. You are looking fine. You are Yeah, you're you're only one turn away from having your walls, so that's nice, okay. Alright, you're obviously fine. Nothing to do there. Force Gloom, three turns away from leveling up. Achendorf, your garrison is in a little bit better shape, but still not great. Still not great. Okay, Kara Kern, you're in pretty good shape at this point. Gun bad, you guys are fine. Grand Peak, you are just waiting for the inevitable attack. Okay, and we're back to here. All right. In that case, we're, we have time enough for another in turn after all. Scrap compactor, 10 scrap per turn. Well, we're almost completely done the tech tree for the greenskins. I will admit, this will be my first time ever actually completing the tech tree for the greenskins. That's what happens when you have every mod using mods to slow everything down so dramatically. Okay, let's go ahead and check our diplomacy once more. I'm sure there's not going to be anything different. Court of Labaris now wants a non-aggression pact. Is there any reason for us to consider doing that? They, um... Actually, I don't really see a reason not to. to the voice of the yeah, we'll take 2,000. Why not? She's a major faction. Maybe she'll survive long enough to add some value. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and end our turn. I'm not going to do any more recruiting, mainly because of the... the uh, maintenance costs at this point. Kislev. Yep, they're slowly kind of wiping out Azhag. That's unfortunate. I just noticed that uh, Rachnik Spider Claw got Supervisor, which is just what we need. I wish we would have gotten it a few turns earlier. And if Belagar does decide to attack Grand Peak, we're going to have to fight it at the beginning of the next episode, which suits me fine. Um, it's always nice to, to start an episode out with a big battle. So I'm kind of hoping he does.
Okay, Clan Moore still hasn't declared war on us, so I suppose that's good, although they're kind of weak anyway. Assaulted the garrison there, okay. That could be a concern. Nep Tretch is still. He's just encamping. Interesting. He's not even raiding. Why would he not even be raiding? Okay, I think we're coming up on Belagar here soon. I need to do a Tomb Kings campaign. I have not played the Tomb Kings in a very long time. And they are quite fun. And I have no idea how the Tomb Kings would be affected by all the uh, Grand Strategy mods that we're using, so that would be worth finding out. Oh, nope, it's Wissenland next. I thought it was going to be Belagar next. Okay, so again with the... Okay, so... Wow, that's bad. Okay, so here we go again. Alright, so they brought a second army. This is uh, kind of similar to the battle that we fought here at Ockendorf before, except this time our garrison is weaker because we've, we've taken casualties. But we, uh, we'll do the best we can. It's really hard to t predict with these, uh, these walled city battles whether or not we can win them. Um, I have often won them thinking that I wouldn't be able to, and I've sometimes lost them think when I thought that I would be able to. So in any case, we're going to go ahead and pick up in the next episode with this battle. Like I said, always good to start off an episode with a great big battle. So uh, anyway, be sure to stay tuned for that. In the meantime, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.